Still it's my time, think it's my year, yeah. Bubba Jenkins, he is now one fight away from fighting for gold himself. Bubba Jenkins walking in and getting a little bit of love from Ray Lewis, Super Bowl champion. Bubba Jenkins, the favorite here. Right to the center we go. Bubba goes right up over the top of Chris Wade. And now Wade, he's in on a takedown attempt. A cradle. Nice cradle by Chris Wade. This is a master class in control. Chris Wade celebrating the victory even as the clock ticks down. Chris Wade insulting the wound of Bubba Jenkins there. Here's the good news for Bubba. He learned something here tonight. The humble pie that Chris Wade served me, it tasted like death. It tasted like acid. I'm still running from that moment. I'm still running from that night, that feeling. It's not even like a, a chase towards the belt and championship. It's a run and a fear from ever seeing that look on my fans again, on my family, on my sons, on my daughter. You know, I disappointed a lot of people. It was a definite understanding from my perspective that like, no, we dropped the ball and we need to get that back. Bubba, bad man Jenkins. He says he's refocused here this season. It's going to be interesting to see how that goes. Oh, oh. Big elevation for Bubba and a slam. He's got it. Forces the top. Bad man Bubba Jenkins just punched the ticket. PFL World Championship. Brendan Lochnane. Brendan Lochnane will take on that man, Bubba Jenkins. In a PFL World Championship bout. Bubba Jenkins, where you at? I love this guy, bro, and that's that's not even an understatement. I got so much respect for him. I fought loads of my friends in the past. I don't care who you are. Once you lock the door, we're gonna compete, and we'll be friends after. That's how it is. I'm truly focused on the championship and Brandon Lockney and the five rounds that I have to do in order to become not only the million dollar man, but a world champion. He better pray I'm only a three round fighter. He better pray I'm only a three round fighter. Cause if he not, he can't deal with five rounds of Batman and he know it. I'm very much like Muhammad Ali, so take on that grandeur type of personality. Don't be, you know, shining away from who you are. We were actually in my garage hitting some things, and, you know, Muhammad Ali died, and I was like, damn, coach, I didn't get to meet him, I didn't get to see him. And, uh, you know, we just, you know, put on some Ali voice, uh, some Ali audio, and I was just hitting the ball in my room, and I just started moving and doing some things. And he was like, man, that's a bad man, that's a bad man. IMA was I am MMA, so it started out as, as a double entendre of I am MMA, and then in memorial of Muhammad Ali. So that's where the I'm a bad man came from. And then after a while, coach didn't keep saying I'm a bad man. I'm a bad. coach just kept calling me bad man, bad man. We know that Lockney's in Thailand, but I'm going to Randy's house for this fight. What's up, fellas? My man. Breakfast and wrestling. Good to see you. Nice to see you. Dewey, how you doing, bud? Good to see, good to see you, sir. Talk about some wrestling. Yeah, he gave the idea of what us wrestlers can do after we're done wrestling. He gave us the blueprint to make a living. Most wrestlers at that time coming out didn't have an understanding of what we could do later. Yeah, go win the Olympics or something, but truly there is no profession at that time or in these times for wrestling. We invited Bubba Jenkins over to the house for coffee and we're gonna watch his old Sun Devil days winning an NCAA championship from 2011. I'm excited to see that match. I haven't seen that match in a long time. I hope he's excited to see it. Beating David Taylor, who just won his third gold medal at Olympic wrestling, pretty impressive. Well, I'm excited to see this match, man. Let's check it out. Me too. Memory lane right here. <laughs> and there is David Taylor, a freshman for Penn State, undefeated this year. I noticed at the beginning of the, of the match, it said your record for the season was 20 wins, three losses. He was 38 and 0 as a freshman. At that point, all his matches together, he was 70 and 1, and his only one loss was to me when we're on the wrestling team together at, at an open tournament. And if there's a soap opera story, it's Bubba Jenkins versus Taylor. I was the underdog, you know? <laughs> this is one of the biggest upsets in NCAA history. Hooks up an inside cradle on Taylor. Doing a nice job of coming over the top here, trying to get both shoulders down. There it is. Bubba Jenkins gets a national championship in grand fashion. Dude, the crowd went crack. I could feel the, the crowd size shaking. Of church bells. And I walked around with the who else wants some Adebo look? You know, like, who else wants some Adebo? <laughs> and this is 
This is arguably, arguably the greatest celebration in NCAA history. The celebration post-match, what was that? Uh, I saw my makeup on the fly, man. I said I'm a freestyle dancer. You made that up on the fly? On the fly, man. I as a freshman, I lost in a round right before all being All-American. And then as a sophomore, I lost in the finals. So being back in Philly with that last opportunity, I knew that I had to grasp on to anything that I could grab for, for, for gold. Bubba's journey through wrestling was fraught with challenges, setbacks, and eventually he stayed resilient, stayed diligent, and managed to get himself in position to win the national championship for Arizona State. And his MMA career has mirrored that in many, many ways. Now he's on the precipice of potentially winning his first world championship in mixed martial arts. When you're at your best, Chris Wayne, and no one else in the PFL can yeah. beat you. And that's the goal, and thus far, we've been the best this year. We got one more time. You gotta be the best at your best. One more fight. Yes, sir. I've heard you talk about the bad man, and I could see you looking in the mirror, looking at yourself, saying, oh man, bad man got a little out of control. Yes, sir, indeed, yes, sir. But uh, like you guys have been able to pinpoint and see this year, the bad man has looked himself in the mirror and has made some questions and some answers. And I speak in third person because we're talking about the different mentality to look yourself in the mirror and say, what are you doing, who are you, and what do you want to become? And that's at that moment when I said to myself, bad man, Bubba, Jesse, whichever one I needed to speak to, all we need to lock in and go become the champion that everyone knows that we, we need to become. This is why I call this camp the culmination of a champion. This fight is bigger than me, and I, and I understood late, but I understood, and I understand now. I'm not blind to the moment that I'm in or the opportunities that I have to change lives. Bubba Jenkins forces the tap! Wow! Bubba back at Jenkins first round finish! If you don't like what I'm saying, you're gonna have to stop me because I'm truly here for change. Oh, 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 is not as fast as he thinks he is. He's not as strong as I am. If you come to wrestle me, I'm going to slaughter you. If you come to bang with me, I'm going to slaughter you. If you come to fight with me, I'm going to slaughter you. Oh, big left hand. That one was clutch. And he picked his You better make it a competition of pointing and running, because I'm coming for a million dollars. It's a million reasons why I could care less about our friendship. 